हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई बी शोइंग यू वेरी सिंपल एग्जांपल ऑफ गूगल प्लेसेस एपीआई ऑटो कंप्लीट फील्ड आउट देयर सो यू विल सी दैट बेसिकली वी विल बी हैविंग दिस फील्ड वी विल बी एबल आई विल बी शोइंग यू हाउ बेसिकली यू कैन डिस्प्ले इट एंड विद लोकेशन फिल्टर्स आउट देयर सो लेट सपोज यू हैव यू वांट टू क्रिएट अ कस्टम ऑटो कंप्लीट वेयर ओनली यू वांट टू शो ओनली द सिटीज नेम ओनली एंड लेट सपोज आई एंटर any letter here you will see it will only show the usa auto complete so you will see it will only as i type g here it is showing me all the cities which are starting with the letter g in uh, united states of america you can also change this country accordingly so let's suppose if i want to tea so texas is there basically it's a city here texas city if i now select the city you will see auto automatically it will Uh, just uh, place a marker on that location that i selected here so we will be looking at this nice little functionality how basically we can build it in pure javascript using the browser so i can even change this address to let's suppose this one now you will see it will automatically place the marker on this location so you can even change the country name as well guys so let's suppose inside my source code i can change this two letter code let fr stands for france or ind stands for india aus stands for australia nz stands for new zealand so any country you can take here so let's suppose i provide aus which is australia here so now if i type here t you will see all the cities will be now we starting with australia so if i now select this you will now see basically it will place this you can scroll it down to zoom in and zoom out inside your google map here you can see that now if i select here sydney you will see that it will place it pinpoint at the location that you selected so it's a very nice little application guys basically with the help of this you will be able to make uh, custom auto complete which you want you will now see it will only show you new zealand one you will see that so i will be showing you how to do this in pure javascript using the google places api and also google maps api so first of all go to google cloud console and get your own api key from your project enable these two apis google places api and maps javascript api then go to credentials and click on your create credentials api key just make your own api key don't copy mine So right here, I have given all the source code, guys, in the description of the video. So if you go to the description of this video, you will be finding out a blog post here. So basically, I have written that blog post on my tutorial website. So go to it. Step by step instruction is given. So all the source code is given. So the very first thing you will do here, basically, first of all, just make a index.html file here, and simply paste that code that I have given in the blog post. So now if you paste it. basically what we are doing right here we are loading the google places api cdn here you will see that https maps google apis.com and here you just need to replace your api key so i will now go to my credentials simply i will copy this api key and replace this api key here you will see that replace it and basically you can see and we are using this library which is the places api we are using it we are loading it that's all inside the html guys we basically have a simple input field out there of type text and here we are allowing the user to enter a city this is a auto complete field out there enter a city and then basically we are loading or rendering out the google map we are giving a height of 800 pixel and a width of 100% so here we will be showing our google map now if i open this with live server so you will now see as i type here nothing happens because we haven't integrated the google maps api and now to integrate with google uh, we will be writing all the code guys inside our uh, onload function which is window dot onload so you just need to write this function right here so whenever your page loads so we will be writing all the code inside this block of code so now we will first of all be loading all the cities name we will first of all target this input field that we have given the id here so we will be targeting it document dot get element by id get element by id 
so this needs to be document so here we will pass the id guys which is search input we will pass the id we will get the reference after this guys we will what we will do here is that after getting the reference we will get the also the reference of the map element also so here we will be basically be google.maps.map and basically we will be getting the reference of the map element where we just need to load the map so we have given the map an id here you will see we are just simply passing the id here and inside second argument guys basically it takes some options first is the zoom level which is 4 and here we will provide the center so here you just need to provide the latitude and the longitude so this will be minus 34 397 and longitude will be around 150.644 you can just give it anything and the third option we will have scroll wheel so whenever you scroll with the help of mouse it will be able to uh, just zoom in and zoom out so after you do this guys we simply need to attach also the marker to the map also now to attach the marker we will simply say in google maps marker and inside this we will simply pass the map so what you will see guys now if you scroll you will now see your google map basically so google map is showing here you will see that basically you can scroll down to zoom in and zoom out you can see that and now guys we basically need to here attach the autocomplete to this input field so for that we first of all need to have the options so these options are really important guys this will be an object and basically it contains the first property which is uh, which uh, quantity you want to show so we only want to include the city's name so basically this is include only the cities here inside our addresses whenever you type something on the autocomplete field and the next option is component restrictions so this basically offers and again this is an object and here you, it contains a property called as country so here you can provide a single country also which is us so it is two lit two letter digit code for the country so this stands for united states so now if i want to attach it to the autocomplete field here we will simply basically first of all make autocomplete and then we will simply uh, say new google maps sorry new google maps places dot autocomplete and here basically we will pass so this needs to be places dot autocomplete and here we will pass the id guys which is input field which we have there and then we will simply call this function which is autocomplete bind to and simply we will pass bounds and map that's all so now guys if you see basically if i write here d you will now see it will show you you will see uh, whenever i type here the restrictions are not applied here you will see it is showing me all the city's name in all the country's name so i think some uh, met, some mistake is happening let me cross check you will see inside types property we have city's name and under component restrictions we have country sorry this needs to be a array not a object so this basically is a array here so we will need to provide a angular prop brackets here like this so now if you load here uh, let me see here why just wait okay okay sorry we haven't passed the options here you can see in the second argument we need to pass these options so just to attach these options so we haven't passed it so in the second argument you will see whenever we are declaring this autocomplete in the second arg argument here we need to attach these options so that's why so just pass these options and now if you just pass it so if you now type anything here 
uh, it will now show you all the city's name starting from uh, D in the United States. So now you can even attach multiple countries also. Let's suppose I want to attach Australia, New Zealand, NZ, India, I and D. So now you will see four countries are there. So it will now show all the four countries which are there. If I now refresh. So you will see Australia, USA, you will see that. You can see that. So now guys, whenever I select any sort of location, I need to plot a red marker on the Google map. So how to do this? It's very simple. There is basically, we have discussed this inside our previous videos on Google Places API. There is an event out there that you can attach to your autocomplete fields out there, which is places changed. So you can basically add a event this place underscore changed. So whenever you select your location, this event will automatically trigger. So now if I alert out, basically what will happen if I now type a location you will see that this automatically triggers that's why this alert statement executed so now inside this basically we just need to place the marker on the map so so we will set the visibility of the marker to false first of all and then we will get the place that the user has selected so we can get the place using this method which is provided by the autocomplete API which is get place so this will return the place after this we will simply check that if the place is plottable on the map if it has the coordinates latitude and longitude if it doesn't have then we will simply alert out the user that uh, no details available and then simply we will return so now if the place is plottable then we will simply plot the so basically this is some sample code which is required here simply paste it so we will simply call this map dot fit bounds pass the geometry and we will set the center of the map here to the location set the zoom level to 17 it looks good set the position and set the visibility of the marker that's all so now if you reload now if i type a location here you will now see basically now it